you know, our dynamics is still beginning of 20th century, so the time is Newtonian, space is absolute, also Newtonian. And invariant sets are things that don't change in time. So, you know, if you want to emphasize it, that could be called time invariant sets. Uh, if you have some other symmetries like translation, rotations, etc., then could be group invariant. But uh, this is the simplest, well, not the simplest, but this is the first natural notion of invariance. So these are the subsets of my space state that don't change in time. So this an equilibrium. So I'm in state space. And every place there is a law that tells me how I move, at this point it happens to be zero. This velocity is zero, so I don't move. Then the, the next object, so this is dimension zero. Next object, which is very natural because that's how science got started, was periodic orbits. So it's a curve of one dimension embedded in million, doesn't matter what your state space is. And it has a property that every point on it, so if you label it, you can label it by time. And if you're Kimb, you can call it X of S, or S is a general parameter that you put there, doesn't matter. And it'll have the property that if you insist on using as time, time till later, you're back. That's true for every point. And velocity field should be non-zero every place because if it's zero, that's called something else. That's called a heteroclinic connection. That's not a periodic orbit. Periodic orbit is where everybody marches at different velocity at different times. But you know, you can never catch up with the person in front of you or overtake them because that would be a violation of determinism. You just couldn't do this. So everybody marches around. So as an army, they're an invariant army uh, under time. And then the truth is that, you know, there is an amazing amount of mathematics. One of them actually got Millennium Prize and Fields Medal. Neither one of them collected, you know, by Pelman. But there's an amazing uh, amount of mathematics that says, in general, there could be other invariant sets. So there could be bagels, or there could be, a, you know, genus and things, or there could be God knows what. And, uh, you know, we're in very high dimensional spaces, so there's lots of candidates for invariant sets. And the truth is that we really don't, today we don't really know much, at least dynamicists I know, maybe some very good mathematicians know much more, but, you know, we don't know much more than uh, Tori as invariant sets, and they're very important. You know, they have to do with stability of the solar system, etc. so they're extensively studied. 